it's Dylan. Welcome to my uh, second official video about gaming. Uh, the ones in between were just kind of fun. I've had them in the past. I wanted to upload them because they were funny. And I just never ended up uploading them because I wasn't, uh, I didn't have a YouTube channel, in a, you know, that I would upload stuff to until now. So I just decided the ones uh, before this, um, that's why they're here. But I'm trying to focus on gaming. Right now I'm having trouble capturing the actual gaming footage with the software I'm using. It's a free software and it worked great for my first video, but uh, I think um, for licensing rights and stuff, it knows to close the software, or not close it, but uh, black it out when I launch a game. So I actually did a like eight minute review on a certain game, then did the playback and realized that it just goes blank and black when uh, <laughs> when I try to do the footage. So anyway, uh, I thought I would just do this in the meantime. Um, so anyway, a little bit about myself. Uh, my YouTube name states Dylan007 Mayhew. The 007 part um, talks about my addiction. There's drug addicts, there's alcoholics, and then there's bond addicts like me. <laughs> so uh, anyway, what you're looking at right now is Agent Under Fire, my favorite game of all time. Yes, I'm saying it on video right now, so you can quote me on it later. Agent Under Fire, my favorite game of all time. Uh, so one of my first systems, if you will, is this purple GameCube right here. Uh, got it used, but it still looks great, because when I got it, it looked great, and it still looks pretty nice. Um, so this is some of where some of my childhood was spent. Console-wise, I had a handhelds way before consoles. Okay, so, anyway, I'm just gonna go over my whole James Bond collection of games. Uh, they're not in order, necessarily, they're just in order about, uh, systems they came out for. So they're not in order by, like, my favorite or years or stuff. I'm going to have a top five favorite James Bond games on another video, but right now this is just kind of showing off my collection. And if you have suggestions or think one's better than the other or want to add a little comment, uh, go right ahead. I'm open to hearing your opinion. Anyway, uh, so there were five James Bond games that came out for the GameCube, PlayStation 2, Xbox, and... Uh, wait, let me just get situated here. Um... Xbox and PS2 and GameCube, so Agent Under Fire, From Russia With Love, uh, For Everything or Nothing, Night Fire, and GoldenEye Rogue Agent. So I like to call this the Furious Five, because <laughs> uh, they came out one right after another. All were pretty good. Like I said, this was my favorite. Night Fire is one of my favorite too. I like Rogue Agent. I like all of them, but these two were a little bit lacking in my opinion and they're third person and I love third person games but it wasn't set up the way I usually like them but you know what they're still fun I still enjoy them and that's all that matters that's what games are for uh, and to express yourself obviously all right I would never get a uh, a PlayStation 1 unless there was an exclusive James Bond game and of course there were two so I had to go up and buy one I have nothing against PlayStation I just didn't really want to spend money, but I'm like, hey, there's a, there's two Bond games, so I mean, might as well. This one came out for Nintendo 64. It was trying to make a ton of money like they did on GoldenEye. It didn't do as well, but it's still a great game. Uh, I haven't actually played it for the PlayStation yet. I played the Nintendo 64 version. 007 Racer, Racer is a really fun game, as it explains in the title. It's racing Bond cars, and it's it's different, but really fun. And Tomorrow Never Dies, I mean, okay game. So, yeah. Then, um, let's go to my DS collection. Uh, Bloodstone, GoldenEye 007, and Quantum of Solace. I own all these games for either a console or a PC, and the handheld ones are much, much different. Not necessarily in a bad way. Um, they're definitely not as, uh, like, appealing, like, physical you know like they don't look as good and stuff like that obviously this is like a strategy game and there's a completely different game for the console one even though it's named the same thing uh yeah and also i wanted to say rogue agent um this was a really good i, I showed this a while back this uh this is a really good game but i actually i think the best ds shooter out of there and i've played a few like the cods and uh never played chinatown i heard that's a great one for the ds but it was an uh, underrated game. I'm also going to make a second video of that too. But it's an underrated game that uh, no one 
thought too much of for the DS at least. But like I said, one of my f well, this is my favorite shooter for the DS. Um, I don't have the DS copy anymore. I lost it. Um, I'm sure I'll find it somewhere. I usually don't lose games like that. Uh, speaking of DS and stuff, we'll go to handhelds. I happen to have a Nightfire GBA game, Game Boy Advance. And this is the oldest James Bond game I have. And tr trust me, I don't have all the James Bond games. There's probably three times as much. In the oldest one, some program some dude made just called James Bond and barely had anything to do with Bond. But back then, you didn't have much to work with. So anyway, this was one of the official games. The first one, just called James Bond 007. Came out for uh, Game Boy. Don't own a Game Boy yet, but I saw it for a good price, so might as well. Okay. I know you've been waiting for this. Da -da -da -da. GoldenEye 007 by Rareware. Everyone loved this Nintendo 64 hit. It's what made the N64 what it is today. Everyone loved Rareware. Like I said, they made Conker's Bad Fur Day and Perfect Dark. Um, haven't got a hold of Conker's yet. It's like 50 bucks on eBay, but Perfect Dark's fun, and I've played that through. Uh, anyway, GoldenEye 007, obviously a great game. But I have to say, the remake, I like better. And I know you're like, what the heck? I didn't grow up in the time when this game came out. I guarantee if I did, I would have loved this game. But uh, I actually played um, just GoldenEye for the Wii, which I'll show right now, um, before I played the Nintendo 64 version. So this is actually my <laughs> GoldenEye. Um, so yeah, this this was one of my favorite games for the Wii. It also came out for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. It was called GoldenEye Reloaded. It came out a few years later. I think Nintendo got some sort of deal with, uh, you know, GoldenEye because they were the first system to have it. So they got an exclusive, but then, you know, Activision or whoever, I really don't know, so don't quote me, but uh, saw, oh, I can make money here too. So they came out with GoldenEye Reloaded, but I just, this is a great game. And if you have a Wii, buy it. Um, yeah. So, and then another Wii game that came out, not as good as GoldenEye by far, is uh, Quantum of Solace, and it it's uh, Daniel Craig's first and second movie. Quantum of Solace was the second, came out in 08, Casino Royale's the first, came out in 06. Uh, I, I preferably like Casino Royale better, but Casino Royale is actually fe featured in Quantum of Solace. Um, the Wii version isn't that good, I actually like the other ones better. Uh, it's just because of the zapper. I could use the GameCube controller on the uh, Golden Eye Wii. So I'm sure if this had that port, if you could use it, I would have enjoyed it much more. But uh, if you, you're going to buy this, I'd highly advise not get it for a Wii. It's still a good game if you do. But, uh, yep. All right. So Bloodstone, this is the only PC Bond. Well, no, I take that back. This is one of the two PC Bond games I have. Uh, like, I, I don't own a PS3 or 360. I plan to, that's just not where I should spend money right now, I spend a lot on my computer, and um, yeah, I plan on investing in other things right now, but uh, so I got it for PC, um, I've played some of it, I haven't went all the way through sadly, but uh, it's fun, it's in third person, and I really liked it, and the other two third person Bond games I didn't, so uh, that was surprising. Um, Alright, so 007 Legends is the most current James Bond game that came out. Uh, see how it has the Peggy rating right there, um, the European one? I actually ordered this from Europe, trying to get it before America could, because I was so excited for it. Sadly, uh, <laughs> the mail, the snail mail kind of failed, and I didn't get it in time. So uh, America got it just when it, it was received to me, but um, it's an okay game. People actually criticized it because it was too much like Call of Duty, and there wasn't, like, all the, it wasn't really lived up to the Bond franchise. Like, there was random stuff that wasn't in the movies, but it actually goes through, uh, what, let's see, six different movies. It goes through Goldfinger, Moonranker, Die Another Day, on Her Majesty's Secret Service, and License to Kill. Also, there was Skyfall, there is Skyfall DLC that came out later. Uh, so yeah, this, this is an okay game. I like it. Um, people didn't really like it because it was like a clone of COD, and I get that. But it's Bond, and how can you not like Bond? And just if you want proof that I'm a Nintendo guy and, you know, I have a Wii U, there you go. I bought it for the Wii U also. Um, honestly, it's just as good as the PC version, and yeah. So anyway, this was my little Bond collection video.
I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, my all-time favorite game. That's why my channel is um, 007. I'm going to do another review, or not review, uh, top five about my five favorite Bond games. And I hope to post another video later. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you around.